Hi everyone, welcome back to Swiss Home Garden, Chitra here. In this video, I will be taking you along in our gardening during June. Let's begin. My husband recorded quite a lot of footage during June and early July but what I am covering right now is for the month of June. Unfortunately I seem to have lost some of the footage which was actually many interesting things he prepared. I have tried to put together whatever I could find and let's begin with this video. Here he is de-weeding and preparing in the front yard. We have not really planted many things right now but I plan to plant perennial flowers so that we have a really pretty entrance at least. He is trying to cut all this grass over here because the robot doesn't go on this direction. It is a slopey area of the garden. This is just on the edge of the property. These are our hazelnut trees. We have a couple of them and this just faces opposite to our main entrance. And moving along to the backyard, we had planted some dinkle wheat in this small little patch before the bridge. But unfortunately we have a mice problem and they seem to have climbed on it and there is none left on it. This is our strawberry bed. We had a relatively good harvest in the month of June. I made strawberry jam and strawberry ice creams after eating at least half of it. I will leave the recipe below in the description box. I have already shared both of these recipes in the channel and also in my blog. Take a look at my blog for recipe printout. These flowers are the potatoes. And here you can get a good view of the whole potato patch. We did harvest a couple of small patches in the meantime. I will have to upload the garden video a little bit more often. Somehow I tend to postpone it. Let's move on inside the greenhouse. This over here is the bitter melon. And on the corner which is shooting up to the roof is the physalis. And just below that is a snake gut. Over here are the chilies. We have planted a few varieties of chilies. Inside the greenhouse they are actually thriving very well but outside not so much. There is not much of an activity of the honeybees over here to pollinate these flowers. So we will have to do it manually just using a small little cotton bud. We just move it around and that way they get pollinated. It worked last year. Last year we planted the bottle gourd inside the greenhouse and that kind of overpowered everything. This year we planted it outside. This is a curry leaf tree and they have started to fruit and actually when we tasted it, it was quite good. In our spinach bed here you see him harvesting all the spinach. And in the meantime we have cleared up this patch and we have planted new things. I will be sharing that in the next video. Across the greenhouse and the spinach bed we have also some onion beds over here and here we planted some of the tomatoes because we had planted a lot of heirloom tomatoes and we didn't have enough space we cleared up this patch and we could plant some more of these tomatoes. I just hope they give a good harvest because last year our harvest was very bad. Actually, this summer has not yet been that warm. We had some days when it was extremely cold that we were worried about our plants in the greenhouse. 
I have noticed that it's not really that many sunny days and there are days when it is almost like autumn. According to many experts, the earth is in a grand solar minimum. This is contrary to the public hype and the media hype about global warming and climate change. As I'm recording this voiceover, the whole day it has been very cold, cloudy and rainy and this is supposed to be till this weekend. I just hope the weather gets warm so our plants do thrive and also produce well. And over here just behind the onion beds there was a little bit of space which we cleared up and we wanted to plant our creeper beans and that's what you see him doing. First he has to fix in the support and then he will be planting it so that they grow on it. We are yet to harvest some beans. Now and then we do get a couple of beans but it's not yet the peak of season. Here he is making these holes with the crowbar and fitting in the sticks. These sticks are from our own property, we didn't have to go buying. We are reusing the stuff which we already have and we will be fixing this so that later on we can also plant some other creepers for next year because we don't plan to be planting in the same place the same vegetables every year just so that the soil can improve. We have to plant something else next year. There he is planting the beans and then fixing the strings to the support so the beans can easily climb up. He is actually working very hard on the garden front whenever he had the time. It has actually been very cold. Sometimes we couldn't get to the garden due to the heavy rains. But whenever he finds time, he is often out in the garden is early morning and in the evening watering the plants. And today actually he was really very busy the whole morning in the garden de-weeding and replanting some of the things. Moving along, this is our red currant bush and these berries are almost ripe. I have already shared a recipe in the blog and also in this channel on how to make a red currant jelly. We will leave the link below in the description box. Here you see him harvesting some of the berries. We did a couple of harvests during this time and now it's already finished. There's no more berries to be harvested. Here he made a homemade fertilizer with the nettle leaves. He soaked the nettle leaves in a bucket for a few days and used that to water the plants. I will try to post some other clippings of some of the important projects we were working on. I just have to find them in my hard disk and then I will post it. With this I end my video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and thank you for watching. If you are new to my channel kindly subscribe, I post one new video every week on food from scratch, Swiss country living, gardening and natural recipes. See you in my next video, bye bye.